I have these, uh, sarcastically, I refer to it as the dad of the year moments, you know, when Colton's like, dad, what do I need this for? And I go, you will never need that. Yep. Don't even bother with it. And I'm right. like, oh, wait, I'm probably, I probably shouldn't say that as your father. I should encourage you to study that and do better. But as a practical human being, you're like, that's worthless. Yep. Why, why are you even having to learn this? You know, and it, because it's on a curriculum and it's all this, well, let's get a broad, uh, a broad scope of knowledge over a lot of different things. Yes. I understand that as a thought process. Yeah. But it doesn't make any sense practically. Because no, you, not you at all. Because you fall into something. Like what, what I do for a living is, is different, right? So I, didn't, I went to different. college, graduated, didn't need it. Right. In hindsight, it was a waste of time. All I did was party five and a half years. <laughs> yeah, that's, my that's longer than the norm for yeah. college. Yeah, yeah, to get a to get a degree in organizational communication, which is the easiest degree. Is that how get. you picked your major? Yes, I okay. did. Well, I started out as engineering. Those classes were way too hard. I switched over to business. Those classes were way too hard. I switched over to a couple other things. Okay. And finally, I went to the guidance counselor after about three years in, and I said, I just have to get out. I'm yeah. committed. I I want to graduate for my own. I'm not going to leave. I'm not quitting. But what's the easiest way out? They go, organizational communication. Sign me up. You're like, that's what you did. But you do communicate now. I mean, but like we were talking about this, your your career, your job doesn't really require a degree. No. No. My job requires re relationship training, for lack of a better term, because yeah. it's all about relationships that I have with people that I work with, be it a, a venue in yep. another part of the country or a radio station or a TV station or a production company. You know, I work with all these different people. Yep. The reason that they work with me and I work with them is we enjoy working with each other. We all work hard. We show up on time and we right. do what we say we're going to do. Uh, amazing. I know. It's, it's crazy. It's very, you know, out there. But those are, <laughs> but what you said, showing up on time, work ethic, communication skills. Yeah. If if we could teach, and that's what kept coming up over and over and over again when we talked to people, it was let's teach people to work hard, mm -hmm. let's teach them to be good humans, let's help them know how to communicate, written form, verbally, uh, interpersonal skills, and let's teach them financial literacy. Yeah. Those were overwhelmingly the responses that came up that people need to be taught, but they are nowhere in the curriculum. If you could get a marginal handle of all of those things. Yep. What, four or five different concepts, right? Right. You don't even have to do any of them excessively well. You're just marginal at all of those. You're mediocre. You are guaranteed to be successful. But, and that's, that's <laughs> yeah. what it is. But then we talk about, we, we did also ask what they're teaching that they don't need. Yeah. Like they're not teaching financial literacy. But what was interesting is when I started going through the results and when we were going through them last night, it was... These are things that everyone has to take for years. So we had physics. These are, I'm looking at some, uh, most science and math courses, um, a language. I, I disagree with the language one, but, but it was chemistry, physics, trigonometry. Trigonometry and geometry and calculus came up a lot. Yeah. So that was one of the big, so I think our college students were answering there, but I took calculus in high school or in college too. And I, I, I couldn't look at it now. To this day. I still don't use it. What do you, what do people that are really good at calculus, like what career do you go into? And I don't mean to sound calculus like a Calculus teacher. Okay. I don't makes, know. Makes sense. Okay. I mean, I feel like it is. So I have one of my nephews. There's, surely there's something else. I think you have to teach it, but there's, you know, if engineering. So I would say, and this is what's been interesting is there are certain professions that need calculus and all that type. So it's probably your engineers, things of that nature. Right. But most people, I would think, knew that, that they were going that path. Mm -hmm. So there's something, and somebody said on one of the surveys, we don't do anything to educate, or actually my niece said that last night, we don't do anything to educate people about what types of jobs are out there. Mm -hmm. So they get, they get through high school and they're like, yeah, I might as well go to college because I don't know what I'm going to do. Right. No one, I mean, the people that know in high school, but we've never exposed them. So I think if we could get rid of the the calculus and the 50 years of language, well, I like language, but calculus, chemistry, physics, if unless they're going into a science field. I think that makes a lot of sense.